So welcome to Unit 4. So Unit 4 is about real-world functions, but 4.1 is about a little detail. The difference between a function and a relation. All right, so you just have to, for those who don't have the printout, you're just going to do little sketches of this. So number one, you write, you would just draw your x and y axis, and then you draw, you know, you draw a vertical line right at what? Negative six. One, two, three, four, five, negative six. Like that. And is that a function or a relation? Well, vertical lines are not a function. They're a relation. And we're going to do more of that stuff. Vertical lines are never a function. They're a relation. Regular lines like this are in fact a function. Right? And, you know, horizontal lines are a function. All these ones other lines are functions, but not vertical lines, right? And this x equals negative 6 is the graph, is the equation of that graph. So is that a function? No. Then if the line is not a function, then the equation of it is not a function. That's also a relation, right? And then y equals 3 halves x minus 4. I suspect that has a y-intercept of 0, negative 4, and a slope of positive 3 halves. It is that line, and that is a function. And that is a function in slope-intercept form. But there are other kinds of functions, right? This is a linear function in slope-intercept. But there are other kinds, and we're going to learn that today. All right, so the x is always the input. Y is always the output in a function. Okay, so let's see this y equals negative 1 half x plus 5. Let's evaluate that for x equals 4. y equals negative 1 half times 4 plus 5. So the input, right, that's the input, and y is the output. Find the output, please. So negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3, so the output is 3. Now the question is, you know, was that one output? Let's find out. And then here, let's do this one, y equals x squared, that's 4 squared, so y equals 16. So we put 4 in each time, right? And the first time we got y equals 3, the second time we got y equals uh, 16, not 6. And that's y equals plus or minus or positive or negative x, so, right, you can get if you put 4 in there, you get this. And what that means is y equals 4, but y equals negative 4 also. Okay? And that's a real thing. Is each, each equation above a function? Well, number one, how do you answer that? Did one input create one output? Yeah, we got one output in this one, so this is yes. We got one output here, yes. Here we put one input in. We got two different outputs, so this is no. Now, the first one is a linear function. We're going to find out this second one in a second. It's called a quadratic function. Why? Because it is x squared. And the third one's not a function at all. Okay. So now we're going to learn something called function notation. And you're going to use this all the time in high school. And so all you do in function notation is you replace where y is with f of x. That's how you read this, f of x. And it means the function with an input of x, right? You could have a function. Later, we'll have functions with an input of t. And so you would write those 3t minus 7, right? So it, this is a function with an input of x. Or we say f of x. That's how it's said. So we're evaluating this. So let's see how this works. So you write the negative. When you do f of negative 6, you write f of negative 6. And you put 3 times negative 6 plus 2. And so f of negative 6 equals 3 times negative 6, negative 18, plus 2 is negative 16. All right, so you replace y with f of x. Let's try this one. So we're still doing f of negative 6 equals 1 half times negative 6 minus 4. Half of negative 6 is negative 3, right, canceling. And negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So f of negative 6 equals negative 7. In that case, both are linear functions. We're just writing, and this is still slope-intercept form, 
but we are writing slope intercept form in function notation it's called all right so let's complete this t table so this would be f of 1 right equals negative 7 plus negative 7 times 1 negative 7 plus 2 negative 5 f of 2 right 2 times negative 7, negative 14, plus 2, negative 12. F of 3, 3 times negative 7, negative 21, plus 2, negative 19. F of 4, negative 7 times 4, negative 28, plus 2, negative 26. Let's be neat. And F of 5, negative 7 times 5, negative 35, plus 2, negative 33. And as always, right? Notice there's a, if there's a pattern on the inputs, there will be a pattern on the outputs. So we're going to talk about that as well. All right, so there's, these are functions. There are different kinds of functions. A discrete function is just a bunch of points. And a, fu a function, whether it's discrete or not, can have no duplicates in the domain. So let's look at that, right? What did we say? What are the, what's the domain? Oh, we got to remember that vocabulary. It's the x values, All right? So this is just a bunch of points. It's not a linear function. It's just a bunch of points. But it, let's see if it is a function. There are two sevens there. Those are duplicates in the domain. And so, right, if you have duplicates in the domain, right, it's not a function. Oh, so we don't say it's not a function. We say it's a what? It's a relation. Let's look at this one. Again, you don't even have to look at the y values. You look at the x values. There are no duplicates. This is a function. It's a discrete function because it's just a bunch of points. Let's look at the domain here. Oh, we put, right, we have an input of 2, and we get two different values, right? What did we say? When you put one input in, the number two, you should not get two different values. So this is a discrete function, but it, or this is discrete, but it's not a function. It's a discrete relation. We're looking at the domain, no duplicates. Duplicates in a range are totally fine. In fact, this is a horizontal line if you connected the dots, but it's a discrete function. And so yes, this is a function. And here we have duplicates in the domain. This is a relation. So all of these are discrete, and some of them, where they have duplicates in the domain, are relations. They're all discrete. The ones with duplicates in the domain, duplicates in the x, are relations. The others are discrete functions. Okay. All right, so here's a picture of a discrete function, or a discrete graph let's see if it's a function or a relation so let's find these ordered pairs there's nine and you could do them in any order nine negative two and what is that nine five uh-oh all right we already hopefully see a problem zero five is this one negative two uh negative four and negative two negative six all right so we organize them in a t table label the domain right so x is the domain, y is the range. Do the table and graph represent a function? No, they're a relation. They're all y, because of two reasons, right? Now let's look at what happens when you have duplicates in the domain in a graph. When you duplicates in a domain on a graph, they're going to be right on top of each other, right? You can pass a vertical line through them and hit two points. And we're going to call this the vertical line test. A vertical line hits two points in your fun in your graph, not a function. All right, so we're going to see this here. Does the graph represent a function or just relation? Those notes are saying what I just said. So let's we're going to make it. Oops, sorry. Right, so let's make right. We could make a t table, but let's see if I can draw a vertical line. So those who don't have this. Make a little sketch. They don't, the dots don't have to be exactly where they are. You can just make a sketch that looks like that. And then I want you to draw a vertical line. And if you can draw a vertical line and hit two of the points, then not a function. right? So this vertical line would hit one point. This vertical line 
will hit one. This vertical line hits nothing. But this vertical line hits two points. And if you can do that, that means there was duplicates in the domain, right? Because that's three, negative two, and three, five. We had duplicates in our domain. This is a relation. Vertical line test failed. All right, let's try this one. So vertical line there, right? You have to know the difference between a vertical and a horizontal line. A horizontal line doesn't matter at all, right? So there's no vertical line that hits two points. So this is a function. So the first one is a discrete relation. The second one is a discrete function. A bunch of points. Sometimes they're duplicates in the domain. Sometimes they're not. Okay. So now that's a picture, that circle, right, is a continuous function. It's not just a bunch of points, right? You can draw it without lifting up your pencil is the test, right? You can draw a circle without lifting up your pencil, right? If you draw a bunch of dots, you, you have to keep picking up, right? You have to keep picking up your pencil. Therefore, that's discrete. Okay. Now, we're going to see if this is a function or a relation. So first of all, make sure you understand that this is continuous. Okay, now, draw a vertical line through the circle. Can you hit more than one point? Right, a circle is made up of, of an infinite amount of points. And let's see if we can hit two of them. Well, we can hit two of them there, we can hit two of them here. Yeah, there's lots of places you could hit two points. And so this, a circle is always a continuous relation. Okay, not a function. So this shape, this U shape is called a parabola. We'll have that word in another lesson, but this is U shape. Let's see if it's a function. So it's continuous, right? Because it's not just a bunch of points. And I draw a vertical line there. I hit it once. Uh, I draw right there. I still hit it once. Uh, anywhere I draw a vertical line, you know, even here, this will, this just so you know, this shape goes out, keeps going out and out little by little forever and so it's continuous and it's a function and we're actually we're going to spend several weeks maybe months on studying this continuous function in the second semester all right so that's the lesson let's practice here it says find the order pairs and organize in a given table again people without the printout just make a little sketch it does not have to be perfect we're just showing where these dots are generally Okay, so just label X and Y, I guess, though. Be a little neater than me. All right, so this is what? 9, 5. And this one is 4, 3. And this one is negative 2, 8. And these, are, that one's negative 5, 5. You can tell where this is going. Negative 5 and negative 6. All right, we organize that. X is always the domain. Y is always the range. Does the table and the graph represent a function? No, it's a relation. Why is it a relation? Well, we can see the duplicates there. If you didn't have the table, you could just draw a vertical line. Right there's your duplicates. So it's a relation. It's a and it. Let me make sure you are just. I didn't ask this, but this is a discrete because it's a bunch of points. A discrete relation. All right, let's just look at this. Well, there's duplicates, so no, this is a relation. All right, if we drew a graph of that, there's negative four, two, and negative four, I didn't ask you to do that. They would be right on top of each other. All right, and this is just a bunch of points. This is a discrete relation. Do the points represent a function or just a relation? I'm looking just at the X coordinates no duplicates, so this is another discrete function. Oh, and I just said ask that. Okay, so there's that U shape on its side. Is that a function or a relation? Well, I could draw a vertical line and hit right there. Let's actually do it through, right? Let's do it right there, okay? And yeah, so it failed the vertical line test. So this is a continuous, this continuous of my spelling, I got way too many U's there, 
continuous. Is that right? Yeah, continuous. And this is a continuous relation. Okay, when we study these as a function, they'll never be on its side later in the year. And the reason is, if you put them on their side, this would be, I think, approximately 2, 3, and this would be 2, negative 3. They would have duplicates in their domain. They won't be a function, and they won't follow the rules. All right, there are rules of functions. All right, what's that? Well, you hopefully can see if I draw a vertical line there, I hit it way more than two times. I hit it three times, well, way more. I hit it three times. And so this is another continuous, right? I could draw that without lifting my pencil up. It's another continuous relation, right? Continuous things can be either functions or relations. Discrete things can be functions or relations as well. All right, so we're going to evaluate that using function notation, right? That's what we started with. F of, you say that as f of 9 equals negative 5 times 9 plus 1. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45 plus 1. f of 9 equals negative 44. Is it a linear fun is it a linear function? It is a linear function, that's what this is, discrete or continuous. It's continuous, right? It's this is let's draw a little, right? Y equal y intercept 0, 1, slope negative 5. It goes on forever in a continuous line. So it's a con linear functions are all continuous, right? Vertical lines are continuous, but relations.